60-year-old Rosemary Marimo is a gold miner in Mazoe, Zimbabwe, a town located 40 minutes from the capital city, Harare. Zimbabwe has got so much gold, so much. If we were to dig all the reefs in Zimbabwe and mine them, I think everybody would be a, mil a millionaire. But mining gold is far from easy in Zimbabwe, especially for a woman who lacks the financial resources and is often denied credit by banks. In most countries on the continent of Africa, property and assets are registered under the man's name, making it difficult for women to qualify for loans. In Rosemary's case, she borrowed money to run a profitable operation in her husband's name when they first started dredging this plot of land two decades ago. Then the unexpected happened. He passed away 14 years ago. But I, I carried on. And when my son graduated in America, I said, Can, come back home. You must work hard because we are owing the bank some money. And the bank threatened to, to take over everything from us. If not for her son's return, Rosemary would have failed to negotiate with the bank because of society's perception of women's roles. Men are used to walking into a bank, talking with a bank manager and so forth. For women, that's a fairly new area. According to Dr. Olivia Muchena, the Minister of Women's Affairs in Zimbabwe, that's all changing. Through various programs, a good number of our banks are opening windows or special facilities for women. And to further help women get into business, the government partnered with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, to train policy planners and decision makers under its Gender Responsive Economic Policy Management Initiative, JEPMI. The aim of the program is to place gender issues at the heart of every economic policy and to give women the same access as men to critical resources so that they can help with development. Poverty hits women much more harder in our countries than men. Alain Nudehu is resident coordinator of UNDP in Harare. If you are a policymaker, empowering women, you allow this person to really care for the family. A group of 34 policymakers, men and women, attended a UNDP sponsored training on gender responsive economic planning held in Zimbabwe recently. They're now equipped with knowledge to develop policy and related processes that include a gender perspective, a move geared to lift women out of poverty and give them greater control of their lives and at the same time contribute to the progress of their country. Today, women head 10% of all mining operations in the country, an industry once dominated by men, and currently mineral exports fetch more than 2 billion U.S. dollars annually. This year, that number is projected to rise by 13%. That's good news for Rosemary, who is now working as a government consultant to help new women miners start off on the right foot. These stones, they carry a lot of gold. <laughs> I can tell, they carry a lot of gold. Okay. You know, because you, have, you are sitting on something very big here. Yeah.